All right, good evening, guys. Kind of Tortoise Capital Nightly Strategy Podcast for January 3rd, 2022. Uh, the uh, spreadsheets are still calculating, so I will follow up with the reports. We're just going to do the market health check and the review of some charts. Probably 20 minutes away from that. Those reports being done. Had a problem with some of the quotes in the quote server. All right, so today um, we had a strong finish in the afternoon. Uh, I think buoyed by uh, really strong performance in Tesla. Uh, and I am treating the afternoon move as a green box because it took out yesterday, Friday's high. Uh, and we are so close to an all-time high that it feels like it reversed the that kind of grinding move that we had uh, all last week on low volume. Now it's a new year in January effect. And I'm really prepared for a move like that to occur. Uh, I would be ready for a reversal if it gets below the um, Friday's low. I think this is where I would pick up the, uh, I'd be picking up the short side orientation. Um, but uh, today's closing move uh, felt pretty strong. All right, we have the, uh, the PSAR extension is still strong and long. The RL30 extension is long and strong. And as long as price stays north of those two, uh, we're in really good shape. The uh, three period haul is still looking good. And again, we are within a fraction of a breakout to an all time high. And that, that would be really strong. Um, take a look at the sectors real quick. So the S&P today was a respectable 0.58 when all was said and done. Uh, the diamonds 0.65, emerging markets 0.72, uh, the Q's up a full percent. The Russell very strong at 1.29. Um, the Treasuries lagged. This was the other reason that I consider today to be a green day of the upside is that Treasuries really broke today at minus point or at minus 2.63. So that's a real strong vote in favor of the equities. Um, so I'm taking that as a very positive sign. All right, let's take a look at the sectors that were excellent today. Um, Marijuana, oil, and uh, S&P tech were up 0.8 to 0.95. It, uh, blockchain up 1.07, finance one and a quarter. Uh, lithium, one and three quarters. Clean energy and fangs up 2.2 and 2.3. Um, ARC innovation, uh, S&P uh, discretionary. Discretionary was up 2.87, and that's based on Tesla being up 13 and a half percent. Bam. Uh, moonshots, 3% energy and um, S&P bio, 3.11. Arc genomics, 3.3. Um, and then oil exploration, uh, four and three quarters. Now, uh, the targets that really dominated today, Tesla, and just take a look at all those greens. There's a, it's on a monthly summer it's on a weekly summer. It's on a daily summer. It's all good in Teslaville, up 13.5%. The numbers that they showed on deliveries uh, for today for a trillion dollar company are just astronomically good. Um, and I think uh, more than the business analysts being impressed with those numbers, uh, any naysayers. Uh, about Tesla being a legit manufacturing company will be gone. And so um, the buy and holders are going to be even more buy and holding. Uh, 
All right. Uh, the other uh, other targets of excellence today: Robinhood, Devon Energy, and PayPal, all above three percent. Apple and TX, the steel companies, two and a half. Uh, John Deere, two point one. Alcoa and Square, one point three to one point six. Um, Virgin Galactic, one point two. Underperforming sectors. The uh, Bitcoin, uh, I'm sorry, the uh, blended large cap crypto, uh, blended commodities, commercial real estate, Bitcoin futures, Bitcoin trust, and Ethereum to get us down to basically flat for the day. Uh, consumer staples, flat. Uh, Mexico, agriculture, uh, minus 0.4. Uh, the two lumbers off 0.5 and 0.6. Materials, 1.3. Brazil and precious metals, 2.5. And, um, and then a strong down day on the VIX at minus 3. Uh, so this is, uh, this is feeling like a broad upward move in the markets based on the U.S., uh, strong in tech, finance, and energy. And, uh, and the small cap. So this is everything to love about the long side going forward. Let's take a look at the sec at the trades. Right, here's the Aussie on uh, five minutes. Uh, so we have a, it's testing a double top right here. And we get the, the breakdown below the collapsing dragon right here. And uh, not sure why we're covering here. Um, I love the re-entry, but this, in my view, should be a second entry. Um, I, and what that would do is add an additional, you'd now have two positions on that trade. Now, that's a good exit. On the five minutes, that's like a one, two, three on a one, on a one minute. So that would have added uh, an additional 2R on this one. Um, so I'm not sure why we took that one. Um, this one is almost, I, I'm going to treat that as a cot of two. Um, that exit is way late. That should be over here on a five minute bar. You should be on a one, two, three exit right here. So we should, uh, we should be cutting out about half of that loss. And then that's where your short can be because now you have a high a low, a lower high, and then this becomes another collapsing dragon right here. But still, this is a pretty good entry and uh, a good exit. You get two on that one. Um, I like the fact that you're waiting for the Kata 2 style. That is a Kata 2 style entry. Um, this should be a scratch. Um, and then this one, there just wasn't anything in there. So that's 2.7. This should really be in the five to six. In terms of potential, with tightening up, I think here and in here, um, this had the potential for five or six for the day, but good work on the fives. The five minute on the Aussie is looking pretty solid. Uh, here's the S&P on a two minute. Uh, we should not be losing money on this one. Uh, when you had uh, this much price action above, we should at least be getting a scratch or a no-lose plus dinner for two. It will just hurt your feelings, honestly, uh, to be in the money that long and then come out of there losing money. And then either that's a stop and reverse there or wait for it to come through the dragon. And man, is that a trade. And then when this bottoms out and you get the PSR flip, this is the 
trade we live for right there. That's the SSC. Now this is a high, a low, a lower high. So that's like a one, two, three. That makes this crossing of the VWAP the biggest short signal you ever saw. Um, so you should be short there with a risk box like this. Um, and then you should be cashing this for a winner. And then when this makes a lower high again, you get reshort when it switches to the winter. And then you get this move in three bars. And then you probably one, two, three exit. So there's a ton of money being left on the table right here. Now, uh, so we have a low. Now we have a higher low. So we went here in reverse. That makes this the best kata two you ever saw until we see the one later on. Uh, so this should get paid when it comes back to the VWAP. I would have tried this as a short and probably scratched. And then I love this. This is another kata two and that's well done. Uh, and that's, um, that's, that's, that's good. And these are both good, good efforts as well. Um, total on the day 0.8, this should be around 8R. If I'm, uh, if I'm judging this in here, three, four, four major opportunities um, uh, to get paid. Uh, but I want you to uh, keep trading the way you're trading. This is a conservative and solid approach. And as long as you're getting paid, get paid. But let's look at tightening up some of those areas. Devon Energy. So here's uh, the breakout opening, the sell-off. We should be able to get this entry right here instead of up here. So this is the, that's a Kata 2 entry with a stop right here. And then this gets paid. And then this re-entry is late. That should be here as it emerges through the dragon. Then that would make this a scratch instead of a loss. Um, it's legit to play the, the short side trade on this one. Uh, with the PSR, because of the PSR flip, you probably would have gotten paid a little bit in here. This is a good job avoiding the sideways quiet channel. You don't want that. You want to wait and see the Z3 pinch like you did and then a breakout. That's a good job getting paid. This is a good job on the Kata 2. It held support at the VWAP and you think it's going to do this. That's a good scratch. That's a good scratch. Um, I don't blame you for waiting to see confirmation on a Kata 2. This, I think, is premature, getting a second position in. Um, there's Because you've got only, you don't need, really have even, you know, maybe one R in hand with momentum. Uh, I like the effort, but that's probably early, um, especially as choppy as this whole thing has been. Um, so that that basically turns a promising trade into a losing trade. Because remember, when you're, when you're selling off here, you're selling off on two positions and there's not enough gain in the first one to pay for that kind of enthusiasm. Yeah, that's why we want to see two R in hand at this stage in your career. So good scratch, reasonable, reasonable. This is slow getting in, reasonable exit. Uh, that was a couple bars late. We should be a little bit earlier. That's getting paid and good scratch. Um, this was hard hard work today, tough, tough sledding. There might have been 2R available um, with best practice, but still that's that you're getting a lot of what we would call stick time and uh, learning to keep taking the shot and uh, you're building up endurance right now. And the fact that you're getting paid to learn uh, is a good thing. So that's well done. Uh, here's NVIDIA. This looks like on the three minute. Um, here's a PSAR flip, probably with a wrist box like that. And on this rollover, getting paid, reasonable. Um, this, when this uh, 
can't really make a new high and then does a PSR flip. That makes this a fantastic short. Uh, I'm not sure why we, uh, why we took this exit here. That, that one doesn't make sense. And there was really no threat. You, should, you could be, if this is your risk box here, you could be here and just let that thing go. And uh, this actually becomes a second position available here. And then that's a good exit. Now, uh, the uh, supported spring crossing got paid. Reasonable reentry got paid. 2.7, that's a good day at work, but we missed a big one here because I think this is premature. Um, yeah, hold on too tight, let it breathe. Yeah, there was, and that's really where, if any place you want your second position. All right, this is the S&P E-mini on the fives. Um, I like this effort to go short uh, because we have a low, a lower low. This thing rolls over. You got the PSAR flip. And this thing, if it's going to be a bad day, this could fail in the same way that it failed here. That's the kind of move that was potential to fail here, especially if that falls through, like if it falls out of the Z2. So this effort to get short is front running this really significant collapse point. If it had collapsed through here, then that would look just like this collapse. Uh, so that's a very good capital preservation, a terrific stop and reverse. Now where I'd like to see you get a second position, I think is right about here, because you've broken out above two different Z3 excursions. You've got momentum. You're on the north side of the RL270. Uh, that's a great second position. That's a great third position, in which case you probably would have exited here. And that would make this, uh, there's probably an additional 4R in there. And now the mother of all trades. Oh. At least here, certainly here, certainly here. So there's, there's maybe three, possibly four entries getting collected in here, and then you probably exit here. That's, that's worth five, depending on how many of those you got in that. That was worth five to eight R in there. This one would have been tough to catch on the downside because you probably felt like you're chasing. But in this case, when this breaks out of the Z3, I'm going to clean this up so you can see this a little easier. So this is what we call P7 in the RLCO framework. And that is when this thing breaks down below Z minus three, it revert and then reverses and then comes up to Z2. That's where you can afford to get long with a stop down here by the bottom of the Z score. And so you would have gotten a little bit of payment inside there. Then this one where it rolls over and rolls over again, this is an ideal short. That's a collapsing dragon. Uh, still, that's 3.6, and that's nothing to sneeze at, but there was a lot more gold to mine there and certainly there. So this could have been maybe 10. There was 10 on the table um, traded in a, in a realistic way. All right, so this is XOP, that uh, oil and gas exploration. Um, opening range, breakout, he's uh, tracking, he's you know, locking in his gains, gets a second position in, one, two, three, exit, perfect, 4.7. That's how you do it. He waits for it to break through the dragon, gets short, gets a one, two, three cover, gets paid. Waits for it to cross the dragon, raises no lose, dinner for two, raising a stop, raising a stop, one, two, three, type of an exit. Nice. Um, this one might be a bar or two uh, late. Like I think maybe 
we might have gotten this, but still that's pretty good. That would have made that a scratch instead of a minus 0 0.3. I like this effort. That's a good capital preservation. This was a good one to try to get short on. So now you can see the big moves are no longer happening and that keeps you out of the chop. And then you get a super pinch. Why? Because the uh, probably one frog box on that thing and the RL270, uh, the 90 is in here, uh, the 30 and the 10. So this is a fake one go to, and then it didn't follow through. So not much you could do on that. Um, still 4.7, that's, that's really good work. Really good work. And you were in position for reasonable breakouts, uh, which would have paid off very large. <clears throat> now we will see some fatigue. Yeah, here's some fatigue. But that's all right. You're getting stick time and you're working on your cardio. Um, good scratch. Uh, this one is one you were, I think you were getting a little tired because now you waited for this thing to be all the way to a Z3 pinch breakdown. Whereas I think when this thing turns to the winter, you can be short here and then on your standard practice, you'd be taking the exit here and you'd have gotten paid on this. And then that makes this a long side trade, which you would have scratched here. And then here is where your supported spring crossing comes or a K2, because you have a low and a higher low. Yeah, K2 and PSAR flip. Uh, this is uh, way premature. This thing is in a K2 and hasn't even really come through the dragon or the PSAR flip, well, way premature. Um, this was a reasonable stop. I, this is where I think you're getting tired right in here. And then this certainly wears you out. Uh, what I like though, is that you're still continuing to shoot. This almost breaks even. Uh, and then, yeah, the grind is wearing you out. So this entry here, this gives you a second position and then you don't need that as a third position. And then this 3.2 probably would have been a six. Uh, still in all, 2.5 for the day. Um, you're, you're learning something about endurance and emotional bank account and building up a thick skin and you're getting paid to learn. So I think this was a pretty good day at work. Um, now, what I want to say on this one is uh, take a look at the, um, in the chat room, uh, there's a, I'm going to upload the spreadsheet, but what we got to add to this um, is the, uh, is the average, oops, we need not just the wins and losses, but we need the average win and average loss. So uh, we have a standard spreadsheet for that, and I will post that in the chat room. Um, so this is a pretty good win-loss rate. That's uh, four to three. Um, pretty good risk control. You know, what we really don't want is anything greater than one R loss. We want a normalish looking curve out to two R, and we want this to be uh, positive expectancy. And then we want to have uh, opportunities for trades greater than 2R, and that looks pretty good. So this is a system that's pretty much in control, and you're getting a reasonable number, one, two, three, probably four, five, six, seven, eight trades, all better than 2R. That means you're uh, being available for uh, long side um, exceptional movers. So this is pretty good, pretty good work. All right, that's everything I got. Oh, no, I, no I'm sorry. I have one more. I want to cover... Uh, my trade today. Um, here's one. Uh, so this one is so this was yesterday, and you can see the Z3 pinch box. So that's the size of this box, is this box. Has a gap up, sells off and does not close the gap. So as soon as it breaks out 
to a new high, I take it, I put that risk box on it from the low, and then I'm getting ready to, um, uh, to get my, so my stop is here, and I'm waiting to see this thing mark up a little bit so that I can jump my stop to no lose plus dinner for two, something like that, okay? Still holding above the PSAR. At this point, uh, I feel good enough. So I've got a stop here. By this time, I can go to here. Oops, Clifford the big red dot. The whole uh, material sector was excellent today. So now I'm picking up my stop just below the uh, the RL10, where I'm supposed to. No lose plus dinner for two. Second position, when this thing breaks out above that Z3 line, gives me a little bit of room. Stop, and now I'll put a stop here. And then as soon as I can, I'll get that second position locked in. Like right now. And bang, there's and there's that exit. So two reasonable trades to get started. Oops. And then getting paid pretty nice on the second trade. Okay. Uh, now this is the, the second red dot is if you had taken like a, a sniper on a one, two, three, and then the second half on the PSAR, or if you'd taken the PSAR as the sniper, then the Bollinger Band mean at the yellow dot would be your managerial exit, which would have made your second entry a, a fractional win. All right, so that's the Alcoa trade. And that's everything we got for you today. I'll get the uh, reports posted here quickly and, um, and we'll be ready for tomorrow. Looking for some more follow through in tech and Tesla. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of favorable energy when people see, oh man, we missed a 13% move in Tesla. All right, so uh, take good care. We'll be uh, we'll be seeing you tomorrow.